Thank you. And the longer the dry and in Intense heat sticks around, the more dangerous it becomes. Yeah, as we mentioned, Rachel Menetoff is live in Sherman Oaks. She's got more on this extreme heat. Rachel? Sandy share this kind of heat means we will have little to no relief even in the overnight hours and it can impact people's health, especially the elderly and young children. Any outdoor industries or job sites will also have to be mindful that this week will be a scorcher. Firefighters quickly contained this two acre brush blaze near the Hanson Dam Tuesday afternoon. But as temperatures rise, so too do the chances for these kinds of vegetation fires. The weather and everything out here is dry, so even if you, if someone's smoking or they just let something go, it's possible that they can lead to an entire brush fire, just something simple. Prolonged extended heat blanketing the region through the holiday weekend. Valley and desert areas will see temperatures in the range of 96 to 116 degrees, according to the National Weather Service. When do you know that, you know, it's too hot, it's time to stop exercise? I feel when your body gets to tell you when you get exhausted, your heart beats a lot faster. You're, you just feel yourself, I guess. Yashira Almanza, a Lake Balboa area runner, says this part of town is known to heat up fast. Anywhere closer to the coast is always more tolerable. If you go to Santa Monica or like Ventura or anywhere, it feels like it's cold for us, the people in the valley. Fourth of July fireworks also pose an extreme threat to our mountains already primed for fires. L.A. area firefighters responded to more than 200 fireworks related calls last year and cautioned that one small spark can do tremendous damage. Greg Bloomberg and his daughter Wendy say they prepare for this kind of weather every single year. When we uh, take walks, it's in the evening. Um, if I'm going to, you know, exercise during the heat wave, it's going to be inside of a gym where it's air conditioning. And for Amelia Castro, it's about finding a shady spot with her book and bottle of water. I'm planning on doing a lot of this. You know, I think the lake helps too. I think it feels a little cooler here. And of course the trees usually either come in, in the morning before noon or like maybe like four-ish when it starts cooling down. So it feels nice and fresher under the, the tree. And the governor's Office of Emergency Services is pre-positioning fire crews and engines in high-risk areas, especially in our northern counties like Sacramento and Napa. So they'll be ready to go at a moment's notice should something erupt. We're live in Sherman Oaks tonight. I'm Rachel Manitoff. Share Sandy back to you in the studio.